women a minority in the world of finance, especially when it comes to the executive suite. And now yet another one falls as Bank of America pushes brokerage chief Sally Krawcheck out the door. So why is it so difficult for women to rise to the top of Wall Street? With us now, Nina Gatawala, a former junior analyst at Morgan Stanley, author of the best-selling book, Suits, A Woman on Wall Street. Great to have you on the show, Nina. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. All right, so I just have to get to this Sally Krawcheck story because I think it's so surprising. Our own Charlie Gasparina broke this mm -hmm. story yesterday that she was out. And there was so much surprise because she's known as such an effective executive. Were you surprised? And have you seen this kind of thing happen before? It is, it is very surprising news. I, I think uh, most people are very surprised by this. She has been seen as one of Wall Street's uh, amazing women doing a great job. So I think for a lot of people, this came out of nowhere. And that's partly why it's such breaking news. Well, you know, she's one of the few women who really gets talked about as having the potential to lead an investment bank, to lead a big bank. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's really in a class of her own out there. Why aren't there more women like that? I think I th there are women out there. They're not, they're not sitting in those very high-ranking positions. And when you're in that Wall Street culture, I think for any woman that's been kind of in corporate culture, you see at the higher levels, it's more challenging. And it's not just for women, it's really people that aren't part of the majority. You see it in, in different walks of life, but this is, this is focused more on women. But you see that it's challenging. And on Wall Street, it's that much more challenging because it is much more male dominated than the, dominated than the average corporate company. All right, well, I wanna show people some of the numbers behind what you're saying here. Women in US finance, you look at the number of CEOs, women in finance, how many? 2.7%. And then you looked at the entire industry, how many women are working in finance generally? It's, uh, it's more than half. So what you see is there are plenty of women in finance. That's, that's not the problem. They're out there, they're working, they're slowly moving up the ladder. They just never get to that executive suite, that CEO chair. And I find, sure. you know, in my own experience, what you find is as you, as you move up, the relationship part of your job with your peers and also with your boss becomes more and more important. And male bosses, they just tend to trust fellas. Well, one of the things is what I think is with the culture that I saw on Wall Street is what they've done, a, what they do a good job in with the lower levels is they make all these efforts to bring women in. Mm -hmm. So you find, you know, they're kind of tr trying to create that diverse culture. What really, really is so challenging in the Wall Street environment is actually a culture that's inclusive, where once you're in there, that you feel that you are, if you're not part of the majority, that you feel that you're part of kind of the team. And so much that happens there is it's relationships. This is, I mean, this right. is just classic in anything in the business world. This is about relationships. It's not just about doing a good job. And people, there are extraordinarily competent women. There are extraordinarily competent people that aren't going to fit into the mold. And there very much is that mold of what's going to be successful in that Wall Street culture. And so you see women get to, hmm. you know, maybe middle management, maybe somewhere there. But it's very hard to go beyond those bounds. And a lot of times you, you know, as I've talked to women around the country, I travel and speak to women in so many different industries, you have to be on. You're on. You're kind of putting on that persona and... Um, it, this isn't, it's a not always natural with the kind of conversations that you need to have that aren't part of your daily conversations. Or what are you talking about? Are you talking with, about football um, or, I mean, what, what do you mean by that? Well, yeah, if, if it's, if the conversation that you walk into is, is about sports or whether it's about the country club that you're maybe not part of, um, you're often, you're kind of cut out of the conversations. And if you know about a lot of things that happen on Wall Street, there are things that happen there's business that gets done at the, the strip clubs, at pl places where that That's women true. are not necessarily going to be a part of it. And the reality is, is a lot of things happens and happen in those environments that well, women know, are left out of. You uh, were a junior analyst. And if I'm right, I believe Sally mm -hmm. Krawcheck was an analyst at Sanford Bernstein many, many years ago at the beginning of her career. So you guys have something in common. I want to read a quote from mm -hmm. Krawcheck about sort of the hurdles she found. She said, I found for years on Wall Street Stretch assignments. Stretch assignments went to men, or stretch assignments did not go to women because we have to have the surefire person in there. What I found worked was I would go beyond the stretch assignment and I'll take the thing that needs to be fixed. So I think that's great advice for women. I think the other great advice for women is 
you're not looking for an A plus on every assignment. That's not what it's about. It's about the relationships in the room. It's not just about doing the job you've been assigned. It's about doing other things too. What's your advice? You've worked on Wall Street. You know what it's like. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most challenging, one of the things that people have to focus on is the mistake is you come in and think, you, what you see is you see an environment where people want, they, you have to prove yourself. To, you're going you're gonna to have to do more work than the other people around you. You're constantly trying to prove yourself because you're not part of the majority. And so once you get past that, there is that where you just, the focus becomes, you're not only going to be doing a good job, you're going to be navigating those relationships. You're going to be spending a lot of time meeting the right people, um, going after it, and it's going to be more work for you. And a lot of times on my team, I was one of 20, I was one woman with 20 something guys. And for me, it's not natural to go up to a guy that's like 45 and say, hey, do you want to get a drink after work? Someone that's senior on my team. Whereas wow. with some of the other guys, it was just, you know, it kind of happened in more of their natural conversations. For me, it would have been awkward or kind of controversial that I would have gone and, you know, asked somebody to have a drink alone. And it's that natual, what's happening is, is it's those nuanced things that are making it challenging um, to it's actually very succeed. Subtle. But one of the most important things, it is very subtle. And that's what makes these conversations harder to have. And what I love about Sally is that she was honest and she admitted to these things that which she would face. Because what I saw on Wall Street is the, uh, very much the culture was, if you talk about it, you're just complaining. And you'd see, you definitely see that with, the, with senior women feeling that way and men feeling like, I don't want to hear about it. Nothing's different for you. It's all the same. And if you feel it's different, that's your problem. But what the most important thing for women, and I think it's so important for women to still pursue these careers and go after them, but you have to know that you're going to spend a lot of your time navigating this very challenging culture right. that you're not part of the majority. And that's what you spend more of your time you doing than with actually that. doing the work. You, you just have to get You've comfortable, got to be comfortable with, with that. that. And uh, I think that's great advice. Yeah. Nina, great to have you on. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank just you. a voice of reason. I appreciate it. So, Thank you. Great to be here.